So I'm gonna go over the answers that we should have gotten on these. So if I was to draw a vertical line and move that vertical line across the graph, everywhere I move it, it should only touch at one spot. So as I'm moving it across, each one of these X's I'm stopping at only has one output. So this first one here is a function. Okay, so this one here, function. When I look at this one here and I move that vertical line across, you see that this is going to have different spots where it is going to touch in more than one spot. So for example, if I stop here on the Y axis, I'm actually gonna have a lot of spots that it's going to cross that's gonna cross, when my X was zero, it's gonna cross one time, two times, three times, four times, five times. So this one is not a function by the vertical line test because I'm checking X's and this particular X had five different outputs because it touched five times. Now on this one, I'm looking to see if I have X repeated. So I see I have a negative eight here and I have a negative eight here, but notice that they both go to the same thing. None of my other values are repeated. So this, even though I have that negative eight twice, since it goes the same number both times, it is going to be a function. And on this one here, if I get my vertical line, if I have my vertical line going across my graph, you can see as I'm going across the graph, everywhere I go, it's only touching the graph at one spot. So this is going to be a function. And hopefully that helps you understand the difference between something that's a function and something that's not a function.